King, we do know that he's arguably one of uh, the most famous uh, physicists in the world. Stephen Hawking uh, died yesterday at the age of uh, 76. His mental genius and physical disability made him a household name and, of course, an inspiration across the globe. Hawking's uh, lasting legacy in the field of theoretical physics and cosmology gave rise to an uh, intense interest in the regions of our universe. But to speak to us more about the legacy of British-born Stephen Hawking, I'm joined now by VETS Professor Sergio Colafra Francisco, uh, who is is a DST NRF SKA research chair and he joins us via Skype. Prof, good morning to you. Thank you so much for coming through. All right, we seem to be having some uh, problems with the connection with connecting uh, to Prof uh, Sergio, but we'll surely uh, try again and see if he's able to hear us. Prof, good morning. Are you able to hear us? Good morning. All right, Prof, thank you so much indeed for coming through. Now, the first question really is, have you personally met Stephen Hawking? I mean, uh, many people and the comments on social media, he seemed to be quite a, a nice person who even guest appeared on shows like The Big Bang Theory on television. Sorry, say again, please. Connection is not very good. All right. Okay, let's just get your take on the legacy left behind by St uh, Stephen Hawking. Well, Stephen Hawking was being a, a giant of science. Uh, internationally renewed <coughs> physicist, but uh, he was especially uh, a very original thinker. Uh, one of those people who was able to think constantly outside the box and bring uh, innovation in our way of understanding the universe. Uh, deep questions like the origin of the universe, uh, the origin of black holes, the connection between the various things and so on. But it was also capable, and I think this is something that we have to uh, really credit to him. He was capable to uh, come close to the science communication between the scientific and academic level and the uh, general public. It's very important because uh, science needs to be communicated in a proper way to the public. And the public needs to understand exactly how to bring science in social innovation. And Stephen was a champion of one of these, uh, or some of these uh, endeavors. Yeah, and he's been referred to as many as uh, the master of universe. Some are referring to him as a cultural force. And uh, most importantly, they say he's a physicist of the second half of the 20th century. And many people are of the view that his passing has actually left an intellectual vacuum. But that is not empty. Do you agree? Yes. Uh, Stephen was a, a very, very important and very... Uh, renewed person to the second um, half of the, the last century, up to the beginning of this century, where he was uh, going forward and explore new way of thinking. For example, one of the last way in which he wanted to explore innovation in, in culture, in, in knowledge, was the future of mankind uh, beyond mass extinction on Earth. He was thinking the only way for the future of humankind is to go to space. Now, whether this is feasible or not is another issue. But theoretically speaking, he was pointing out to a problem. We need to take care about our planet. We need to take care about our own future in terms of sustainability, both in the social context and in the economic, scientific, and uh, exploitation of resources yeah. in this planet. And it was one of the first uh, mind, bright mind, to put this uh, uh, argument in the focus on the uh, modern discussion. All right, Prof, I'm afraid uh, due to time constraints, we'll have to leave it at that, but uh, hopefully we'll invite you back to the show because there's really so much to talk about, uh, more so because you're also the chair of the SKA pro uh, project. But thank you so much for coming through. Many thanks to uh, Professor Sergio Cola Francisco, who is the uh, DST NRF SKA research to uh, chair, talking to us about the legacy following the death of renowned physicist um, Stephen Hawking. Uh,